Yo, so I know you're real interested in this video right here. Oh yeah, how to retire on crypto, what? What did you just say, Teddy? You know, um, it's, it's not that complicated. Um, and I think a lot of people have like a lot of misconceptions about retirement. Um, the first thing I'm gonna say is if you're young, you know, if you're like under 40 and you wanna retire, Bruh, F you, bro. You jerk. Just keep working. Just retire. What the hell? You still, you still got a whole life of work to do. Stop being a little punk. Stop being soft, all right? If, you, if you're under 40 and you're watching this video, bro, just click off, bro. Get out my face, man. I'm trying to retire right now. It's crazy. You should be in the hustle straight up the reason why I say that is because um, you know 10 15 20 years ago by and you didn't work and you may have to start working again see that's the thing right retirement is like oh it's retirement retirement nah bro like you don't want to be 80 and ran out of money and want to go and have to go work again. You don't want to do that, right? That's the thing. So while you're able-bodied, you know, and maybe you're able-bodied into your 80s. I know some people like that. I'm in the nation. There's quite a few brothers and sisters that, you know, are in their 70s and 80s and will handle the business if you get out of line. <laughs> Straight up, got abs, you know what I mean? So trust me, I understand that, uh, you know, if you make it that far, if you're blessed to make it that far, which I pray I am, and all of you are, you know, you could be in a very tip-top great condition when you get there. But what if you're not? Huh? Huh? What if you're not? You don't want to be in a situation where you got to work because you ran out of money because you were gallivanting throughout the world while you were young and able-bodied. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, you know, uh, seek difficulty because after difficulty comes ease. You know, that's what it says in the Quran. So anyway, um, for all the other people, you're, o you're over 40s. Now that I got you little young bucks out the way, get up out, get up out of here. Click off. You know what I mean? Let the adults talk. I'm under 40, by the way. I got like another six years. So, um, you know, you're o the older, f over 40 folks, listen, I know you guys, you know, you have your little savings instruments, your funds, uh, you have... Social Security you've been kicking into over the years. I hope, I really hope, all of that is available for you when it's time to retire. Okay, I really do. I really hope so. I really hope it is. Um, and maybe it will be. According to a lot of studies that have come out, uh, and these are just calculations by people much more knowledgeable than I. Uh, you know, a lot of people are speculating on whether or not you know, these things are going to be relevant for you in the future. And I know you're, you're really banking on these things now, right? Um, but it's, I mean, look, I'm just giving you the reality here, okay? You can go look it up yourself. You don't got to believe me. And you can do whatever you want after this video. But at least if I, if I, you know, let you know what's going on, maybe, what might be going on, you know, then you can take a look yourself and, and decide accordingly. Um, so... You know, Social Security, they've been borrowing against it and borrowing against it. And, you know, I mean, come on, man. You know, this, the national debt is like, what, 40 trillion? Like, come on, bro. Are they going to pay that back? Are they going to pay back any of their debts? Is the government really good for their money? And I know it sucks because you've been paying into it. You know what I mean? You've been paying into it for years, decades. You've been paying into that money. You know, and for them to even have the notion that there may not be money left in it, or if they need to print more money to pay it, Ooh, you know, that's like a, a it's like a, a backhanded compliment. You know what I mean? Like, okay, it's you know, I get it. You're gonna give me the money, but then you're also gonna debase the money as you give it to me, and it's like, ooh, uh, that's kind of messed up. Um, so. Anyway, let's say we don't have to talk about any of that. We want to talk about crypto, how to retire on it. 
you know how to how to make it so that you don't have to work using crypto and look man this is uh making gains is making gains right but retiring oh there's a lot of math you got to do all right and you got to be very disciplined okay because you're gonna have a sum of money that you're gonna hold on to right and the sum of money that you're holding on to uh is something that um how can i put it man you got to be very wise about how you use this sum of money like extremely wise you cannot be spending frivolously you have to stick to you're living on a fixed income okay when you when you are talking about retirement funds it's a fixed income that you're you're going to live on and you need to do this because this money needs to last you know long enough for you to not work anymore sorry man there's like this thing floating in the sky and it's coming down real slow it's just floating it's not a ufo so it's not that but i was wondering what it, what it was it's a ufo to me right now but it's not a flying saucer it's not a spaceship a baby plane mother plane it's not one of those so um anyway so look you're gonna have to take okay how much do you need to spend per month per year okay to live on right to to keep the commitments that you need to keep right and then you know obviously food maybe you want to do some traveling maybe you don't but stuff like that right and you gotta you gotta now determine okay how many years do i intend to live <laughs> uh, i would always overshoot this uh because with the advancements in medicine you know the uh impossible improvements in the healthcare system in terms of you know financing healthcare in america you know you may find yourself living longer than you initially expected it's possible you know what i mean you may want to become a vegan or something at some point you know, i don't know but you may end up living longer than you initially intended so right now today you know if you're let's say if you're 60 and you you say you know what i don't think i got 20 years ahead of me you know maybe maybe try to go for 30 right 30 40 years yeah i'm just saying okay i'm not a financial advisor i'm just looking at this practically right i'm trying to get to the thing i really want to talk about but i got to lay some of this groundwork just so that there's context to these numbers right so let's say let's say it's 40 grand a year and you got to make 40 grand a year just to make your monthly nut and uh at the same time you know you want to live for 30 years right so what does that come out to that's like 1.2 million dollars right and that's 1.2 million dollars if haha if the value of the dollar that we're measuring this by if this stays the same okay if it stays the same great fantastic if it doesn't you're in trouble you know shoot we're all in trouble if that's the case so you know 1.2 million that's for you to live off 40 grand a year you know how many people can live off 40 grand a year how many people who have enough to make 1.2 million can actually live off 40 grand a year like not much you know i, I don't i don't think so I, I think you know we're talking about you know the amount of money like if you only made 40 grand a year the last 30 years you know you now have to have you know all of that money saved up or have accumulated that much money from investing you know for you to have that same amount of time in your career going forward where you don't have to work like, eh. you know it's tough right um so how do you do it in crypto well first like you got to figure that out right because now uh things are different because of crypto things are a little bit different um first off bro you, you you're gonna need to like seriously um get very familiar with like the financial landscape right now there's a lot of uncertainty and there's a lot of doubt in the traditional market and a lot of people who you know have been paying attention are jumping ship into crypto okay because you know they control it like if you have your own crypto you control your own crypto nobody else controls your crypto for you you control it nobody else can tell you what's happening to your money and you know uh, nobody can garnish it nobody can touch it just you right you get into an accident and, you know they want to sue you for whatever nobody even has to know that you got crypto or 
how much crypto you got. You know, nobody even has to know that. Um, and so that's number one, control. You really, really, you know, I, I know, you, you know, a lot of people, especially like when I talk with older folks, they don't trust themselves. That's a crazy thing, man. Like you don't trust yourself to keep track of your money. Uh, uh, somebody put that in your head. Somebody put that in your head. So that's a, a narrative that you feel, you know, applies to you. And it, you know, it's not that complicated, man. If you wanted to run a business, if you wanted to manage other people's money, okay, now we're getting into some complications. Running your own money, it's really simple. You want to just keep as much of it in the wallet <laughs> as you can. <laughs> Try not to spend it, you know? It's just that simple. Hold on to it. You know, that's, a, that's the long and the short of it. Um, and people think, you know, that they can't do it. So, you, so control, like Bitcoin, you having control over your money is a big, major, major, major thing. Um, the second thing is that the volatility of this market. Some people look at the volatility as a bug, and it's really because they've just heard somebody on the news or somebody else say that, you know, the volatility is, is, a, is a downside, it's a con for Bitcoin. But you cannot have tremendous upside without volatility you know what i mean like you cannot have the light without the dark and you know all those other opposites it's just not a thing it's not a thing that can happen dude so you got to have volatility in the market because that is what's going to give you tremendous upside you know that's what creates massive profitability in the market okay is the volatility so if you in your mind if you can just get by the the, the notion that volatility is bad and you can just realize that if you list it on a chart, you know, the pros and cons of volatility, you have a lot more pros than cons, and it's very good. And if you can just wrap your head around that, boom, now we're, sec we're two parts of the way there. So first is you controlling your own funds, right? There's a learning curve to that. You got to learn it, but it's not that complicated. You know, it's like uh, when you have a ton of work to do. Uh, and you're, you're, you have anxiety about doing the work, but when you actually get to doing the, the work on it, turns out it's very easy. That's very much how crypto is, right? Okay, then it's you, so it's control, right? You controlling your own thing. And then the second thing is the volatility, right? Volatility. I know that a lot of older folks, you know, you're very cynical and you say, well, uh, Teddy, what if the price goes down, right? Because you have a problem for every solution, right? I'm trying to give you a solution. You want to give me a problem. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and and I'm trying to tell you that it's going to be okay. The price goes down, sure. But it also goes up a lot. A lot. Okay? A lot. All right. Three. Yo, look. This is, hey, hey, I am not a financial advisor. I'm a random person on YouTube. I'm a random person on YouTube. Okay? But. But. Maybe you should consider what I'm saying. Just consider it, okay? This is the third part. This is going to be a tough one, tough one for you, okay? I know you got your stuff stashed, you know, in a retirement account somewhere, right? And it's making whatever money. It's making 5 10% per year, okay? 5 to 10% per year. Yo, you you know, bro. You know. Keep it real, man. You're spending more than 5 to 10% of that portfolio per year. You are. I know you are. Bro. Don't, don't try to play me, bro. I know you're, you're spending more than that per year, okay? Don't try to play me. How are you going to keep up when, when you retire, dude? How are you going to keep up? You're going to drain that account. You know what I mean? That account is going to be empty at some point, and you're going to be around to see it. It's just, I, I'm just telling you, man. I'm just telling you, okay? So don't be mad at me. Look, you want to take full advantage of crypto. You want to take full control of your money. Listen, man. 5 to 10% per year? Are you kidding me? Dude, Bitcoin to do 10% in a day, you know, in a, in a few days, do 5%. If, if we just added up the one, the movement of Bitcoin, right? And you just did a buy low, sell high. And let's say you got it wrong 60% of the time. You're still beating 5%. And that's like within a matter of days. You're still going to beat, you're still going to beat 5%. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. So look, um, you know, this is a very small gain, like five to ten percent. Like that's like that's nothing. Okay, some people call that good. Some people call that good money. It sucks. Okay, it's trash. Now, and I'm not saying 
I'm not comparing that to like 3,700% gains. And I'm not comparing it to that. Which is, which is what we're getting. You know what I mean? People are getting that in crypto. I'm comparing that just to like, you know, some decent gains in the crypto market. Like stuff that is feasible, that stuff that can happen in any market. Bear, bull, doesn't matter. You can get, you know, 10, 15, 20% in a month. You know what I mean? On gains. Okay? It's, it's just, yes, you can do that. Um, now you got this money sitting in some of these accounts and look a lot of people are going to give me flack for saying this right but i'm not saying this from like zero knowledge about what's going on in the world like, like i'm paying attention every day my guy i'm looking at this every day i've been in crypto for five years you know and every single day i've spent at least an hour every day learning more about crypto about finance about about the way our current system of finance works you know I say, from my experience, from what I've seen, yeah, 10% gains sucks, hella bad. 5% is twice as bad as 10% gains if, if, per year, per year now we're talking, okay? So you have this money sitting there and it's doing that, it's doing that crappy gains, right? And if inflation is closer to 20%, which I'm finding many more conservatively estimating people are agreeing more and more, 20% is probably where we're close to, we don't even want to think about more than 20%. That gets scary. That gets extremely scary. Your money doesn't beat inflation. So not only do you have to beat how much you're spending, but now you got to beat inflation too, which your money can't beat both. And it can't beat both together, sitting in that account. Now, the next thing you're going to say is, Teddy, you dumb, young idiot. I got to pay a penalty and I got to pay taxes on that money when I take it out. It's going to hit me for like 50%. Bro, I feel it. I feel it. I understand. Let's do math, okay? Let's do some math. All right, you have this $10 in there in your Roth IRA and your 401k and your you know, money mutual, whatever, right? You sit it's sitting there, you know, you're going to pay 30 to 50 percent let's just say you pay 50 percent oh god 50 percent of that money by taking it out okay you got ten dollars in there when you take it out oh that, oh it hurts you give them five right and this is money you've been using you've been paying into for like years man for decades and and when you want to go use it man they gotta slice you open and have a cup there to get whatever's pouring out and then send you on your way. It's foul, man. Think about it, man. That's evil, bro. That's an evil thing. You know, I give you my money. You make money every year on my money. <laughs> you use my money to pay for your retirement. You know what I mean? And then when I want it back after decades of leaving it there, you know what I'm saying? You want to stick me? <laughs> for for 20 30 percent and then i gotta pay uncle sam after that come on bro that's evil man that's evil dude it's foul i wouldn't want to leave my money with somebody like that not anymore nah man all right man i'll pay the penalty give me my five dollars all right now let's say look we're in 2021 november of 2021 okay if you if you just put the money in to let's just say let's just say ethereum it's a it's a staple in the market it's a utility of the market it's like a con edison you know what i mean everybody uses it it's got the second largest market cap compared to bitcoin matter of fact forget ethereum let's just go to bitcoin okay let's go to bitcoin right if you took that money and bitcoin sitting at sixty thousand right now look man a lot of us are estimating $120,000 Bitcoin sometime next year, early next year. Probably a lot more than that. Some of us are estimating a $200,000 Bitcoin. Bitcoin is at $60,000 right now. If you took that $5 and you buried it in Bitcoin, okay, and it just went to 120, great, you just made your money back. Just like that. Boom. Your money just made back money, right? Now, if it does more than that, your money just made money. A lot more than 10%. More than 10%, my guy. But let's say it just doubled, and that was the end of the bull market, and because you're learning about finance, 
because you're learning about crypto, because you're learning about how to control your own funds, you decide, you know what? I'm going to sell here. I'm going to sell right now. You sell, okay? Now you're able to put that money into a, a yield account, right, in crypto. Nobody knows you got, you're doing this, okay? Nobody knows you're doing this, but you're doing this, right? And you put this in something like, let's say, Terra, the Terra Luna platform, right? And you're getting 20% APY staking on the platform, you know? Let's say you're able to do that, okay? Just, just humor me, right? Let's just say you're able to do that. Now, you just made 20% on your money, so you did five, it doubled to 10, right? The bear market hits, you park it in Terra Luna to get 20% per year on average, sometimes more, sometimes less. There's ways to get more too. If you wanna do a 35 or 40%, is something you got to research in in the Terra Luna platform there's a way to do it we're not going to go into that right now we're just going to keep it simple just park it there get you 20 percent right all right cool now you at the end of the year at the for for the bear market you just did two more dollars right so you're five you had ten they they stabbed you and took you for your other five you took your five, you put it in Bitcoin, you put it in your control. You know what I mean? You took it out of the control of evil people who are jerks and you control it. It flipped to 10, you sold. Great. Now you're back where you started. Fantastic. But, but Teddy, I got to make money. All right, cool. Park it in Terra. You're in the Terra Luna platform. You parked it there. You, you left it there for a year. You just made two more dollars. You turned your five, your 10 into five and your five into 10 and then your 10 into 12. And then the market is in a bear market. Bitcoin is in a bear market, right? And you're waiting for the price to go very low and then flatline, nice and flat, for maybe a month or two months even, okay? Just nice and flat. And that, uh, that price of Bitcoin, if it 120 was where it was, let's just say, and I don't know if this is gonna happen, let's just say it goes down to 30. Let's just say it goes down to $30,000, $30, right? Uh, and you now, you bought in at 60 originally, right? And you did cool. You buy buy back in now at 30,000, right? You get twice as much Bitcoin as you initially got, right? Uh, and actually you get plus the $2, plus the $2 that you got, right? Now you're looking at more than twice as much Bitcoin, right? Not, not, not twice as much money, but now more than twice as much Bitcoin. If Bitcoin now goes to, look, old resistance becomes new support. The resistance line in, the, in 2017 was 20,000. That became support going forward this time, right? So old resistance means like the price couldn't break above that. And support means that the price doesn't break below that. So old resistance, old price that we couldn't break above, then becomes new support, okay? The price that you can't break down past, right? So if Bitcoin, um, you know, at 30K is the bottom, right? And we're looking to just go back to a previous all-time high, right? Because that, that resistance at the all-time high, 120, right? That will become new support. If you could just hold until that goes there, right? You're talking about 4Xing your money. You're talking about turn, multiplying your money by four times, right? Because you had 30,000 going to 120,000 now is a 4X. And you have twice as many Bitcoin. You know what I mean? So, so uh, what's, as you used, you used to have, right? So your 12 now became 48 in maybe a three to four year process two to three years i think even you can you can make the argument for and mind you because you bought at the bottom every time it goes up that's money that you're making because it's just going up now when you buy at the bottom that's the that's the awesome thing you experience buying at the bottom is that the prices are going up you know what i mean and and then so if it just goes to 120 you turn your 12 into 48 you did a 400 percent gain do you know how long it would take you to get 400% on your other stuff that you were doing? At 10% APY, it would have took you 40 years <laughs> to get 400%. You did it in three. 
This is what I'm saying, man. Like you, you want to leave your money with people who are selling you on 10% per year and they're taking your money and buying crypto and making these gains and then just giving you your little 10%. And then when you want it, they got to stab you and cut you open. <laughs> you know what I mean? And gouge you for 50% of your stuff. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, man. I thought we were smarter than that. You know, back in the day, I understand that was the way you did it, right? And you didn't trust yourself. But now that you trust yourself, you know how to control your coin, right? And you're willing to pull your funds together for your control. And because you trust yourself, now you're doing those gains that they were doing, but you're doing it for yourself, dude. You're doing it for yourself. It's not that complicated. This stuff is not complicated to do. You, as soon as you can do it one time, you can do it a thousand times. If you could buy and sell one time, you could buy and sell a thousand times, a million times, all right? But now that's just if it goes back to this previous all-time high. Let's say this previous all-time high is 120. From 30 to 120, you made 48. It usually doesn't stop there, man. We are three times, right now, sitting right now, 60K, we're three times what the previous all-time high was. Let's just say we did that. Let's say Bitcoin went from 120 to a new all-time high of 360. Whoa. Whoa, Nelly. Huh. So you're, you, just, you just took your 30, the Bitcoin you bought at 30K, $12 worth of Bitcoin you bought at 30K, okay? And then you flipped that to... At 30K, it goes to 360. That's 12X, my friend. Now your $12 became $144, my friend. My guy. I think you're doing all right. And we're talking about maybe within a five-year span, my friend. Five years, my friend. You know what I mean? Look, you could, have took, you could take your at $144, okay, 12X and in the market. At $144, bro, take 12 out and go and live on that retire take 12 out and it hits the, hits the top of the market right check this out man check this out my friend check this out hits the top of the market go ahead take that 12 out do something nice for yourself you know what i mean quit that job that you don't want to work at anymore you know what i mean and just live on that 12 while that other 350 dollars sorry uh other uh 100 and uh what's it called $130 is there make working for you, okay, working for you. And look, man, I'm talking about one transaction maybe every couple of years. One transaction every couple of years, okay? This is what I'm talking about, man. You know, this isn't day trading. This isn't speculation, you know, uh, you know swing trading is not even that, bro. You're just buying at the low. Selling at the high, buying at the real low, selling at the real high. That's it. It's real simple. Okay. So now your 130 is in there and you say, hey, this is a bear market. <laughs> I know what to do. I just did this. I know what to do. I'm going to park it in Terra. I'm going to get 10%, I mean 20% APY in this mug. You know what I mean? Now your 130. Just made another 26 bucks. That's more than the initial funds you started with. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we just repeat this process over and over again, right? The, the, here's the thing, right? Is that the APYs get smaller. Uh, the amount of gains you get ev on every bull run, it gets smaller, right? But, you know, between now and the next bull run, you have an opportunity to take advantage of this, Okay to take advantage of this. And mind you, man, if you're learning, if you're continuing to be a student in crypto, and I, bro, I'm talking about an hour a day. If you're retired, if this move you did ended up retiring you and you're retired, you got an hour a day to put towards something that's gonna take care of you for a long time. And then when you're gone, you got kids or a niece or a nephew or somebody you just wanna leave it to. And you left them much more than you had, much more than they have, and you give them now an opportunity, right, to have a better life than you. You know what I'm saying? Or you don't leave it to anybody, man. Take it with you. Just to keep the private keys. Don't give the password away. Take it off the market. It's up to you. You can do what you want to do. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, and this is a, a very simple, strategic roadmap. This is something that 
anybody can do. It doesn't require a whole lot of knowledge. It doesn't require a whole lot of time either. What it takes is guts. Guts. And it also takes an awareness of the current state of finance around the globe. And the, the, uh, the nebulousness of what that's going to look like in the coming years. The absence of you know, government safeguards for those who are elderly who wish to retire, uh, you know, and, and the, you know, in, ineffectiveness of what traditional savings instruments used to be in today's climate. You know what I'm saying? I'm a random guy on YouTube. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm lying. Maybe I'm lying. I could be. You should research everything I just said. I'm not a financial advisor. If I was a financial advisor, I'd be telling you, park your money in my thing and get 10% per year. That's what they're telling you. So hell no, nah, I'm not no financial advisor. Hell no. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's my two cents. I love you. I mean, I really do, man. I really do. I know. Man, crypto has been beneficial for me and my family and those who, you know, uh, I, I speak with on a day-to-day -day basis, man, crypto has been immensely beneficial for us and our families. And I'm hoping that it could be beneficial for you as well. And so that's why I'm, I'm making videos like this. You don't have to, I just gave you the whole game. You don't gotta buy my course. You don't gotta buy my book. You don't gotta buy nothing. You don't gotta give me no money for it. I just gave you the whole game. I have no skin in the game, you know, or I have no dog in the fight for you to do this or not do this, okay? If you do it, I don't make any more money. If you don't do it, I don't lose money either. You know what I mean? It's up to you. You know what I mean? I have no, uh, there's no like hidden agenda I could possibly have. I just gave you everything, right? So, you know, it's my two cents, man. It's up to you. You can do it or you don't have to do it. It's up to you. It's going to be your life that you live based on this, you know, afterwards. That's what's going to happen. That's what it's going to be. And that's what it is right now. You know what I mean? But I hope everything works out for you. I hope all your plans come to fruition and I hope it goes great. Uh, please do your own research, man. Get, get aware, get familiar with what's going on in the world. Don't be so stuck in the bubble of your personal life to not realize, you know, that the world is changing around you. The world is changing around you. The Los Angeles Lakers played at the Staples Center. Those championships they won were at the Staples Center. The Staples Center just got bought by an exchange called Crypto.com, and it is now the Crypto.com Center. This is Los Angeles. There's another stadium there that's getting built by SoFi, which is another crypto company. It's being built right now. It's changing the dynamics of real estate and the neighborhoods. You know, it's causing a lot of gentrification and all that. People are buying in anticipation of the new stadium built by a crypto company. This world is changing. This world is changing. You, look, I, I know, man. I know you feel like this is technology. It's not your thing. You're old, blah, blah, blah. These are just narratives you tell yourself. Like how you told yourself.